You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Herbalist Day. Hmm. Herbalism is an important study and profession. Herbalist Day, sometimes referred to as Thank a Herbalist Day, is a celebration and awareness of the importance of herbs and herbalists in our lives. Now, according to Herbal Academy, this day is a celebration of many teachers, pears, and herbs that have guided us through our journey as an herbalist thus far. Now, herbs unquestionably play a very important part in our lives, and I completely agree with that. <laughs> Especially <laughs> since COVID-19. Lami, what do you agree? Yes, but to be truthful, when I hear herbalist, my mind goes to the truth. <laughs> So, but truly, yes, I've done, I've started doing, my husband does a lot of herbs. He takes a lot of herbs. And he's, um, he's converted me, so. Wow, that's nice, because for me, uh, since this lockdown, the first thing my mom did from, she sent, I told you now, from Kaduna, she sent us um, um, lemongrass, ginger, oh, lemon. That's great. So I have done different concoctions. In fact, I saw one video. So that, do you still have lemons? Oh, yes, I have lemons, just a few left, though. Oh. I have a few lemons left, you know, so, I mean, whether we like it or not, real well, herbs. they actually work. That's what we're saying. So all yes. this, you know, foreign medicine, we shouldn't, no. we shouldn't discard our no. things that God has blessed us naturally Natural with, medicine. You understand? Natural yeah. medicine. So yeah. to all the herbalists out there, we Thumbs celebrate up. you on this day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so what did you find for us in the news, Lamy? Okay. Um, Nigeria and some other poorer nations. Well, it's devastating for me to refer to Nigeria as a poor nation. But um, by... The IMF and the World Bank standards were a poor nation. Anyway, China and some other G20 countries have agreed to freeze our debts hmm. till the end of... Um, it's just going to be in abeyance till the end of... Um, the COVID-19? No, to the end of the year. Wow. So that uh, we can concentrate on using the resources we would have used for the repayment to channel it into other... Areas that need immediate um, solutions like healthcare, um, unemployment, the weakening economy, and all that. So, I, I think this is a good news anyway. That would at least help us. And they are actually going to monitor it hmm. because of, you know, our perceived um, lack of transparency. Okay. They really want to see it work. So, I think that's a good that news. help us. At really, least help yeah. the economy. It will help us because we're in, we're in huge debt in this country. Yeah, we can't afford and to And I don't even now. see us going out of it anytime because soon. Because service and um, debt servicing is a huge trunk of the budget. Yeah. So I think that's a good um, decision. Okay, that's fine. That's amazing. So um, my story is quite, um, it's a very, very sad one for me. It really irked me when I saw it. Um, first of all, a video had broke of a guy in the north speaking Hausa, using curse words and saying to... Um, saying washing his hands into a bowl and now drinking the water and using the hands to rub up his face and like cursing coronavirus and saying god if if, if like let me translate it literally that like, if they burned coronavirus well blah 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 and all of that and so he did that video some weeks back i saw it only for me to see um alibaba's post this About. yeah this afternoon and it was quite pathetic you know another young man now replicating that video oh my goodness so for Before me it now a challenge so it now it's now looking more like a challenge like i'm daring coronavirus i mean this is like a very irresponsible thing to do if i were to be a northern governor right now i would we'll call for the arrest out. of the originator and whoever has copied that video because it does not make any sense for us to do things and make a joke out of it Ooh, I, I, I mean the whole world is on standstill and yet well, some people well, are so ignorant I, and this is what we are saying when we say our leaders don't educate our people. This well, is what it leads to. I was going to say that, that you need to pity him because he, does, he doesn't have the knowledge. He doesn't understand the predicament. All right, so sad. So, well, I think we just need to move on. All right, so in um, a light line of checking up with our audience, uh, we have um, Bolu and Tenny. Are you there? They're on Skype. We're just checking up on them. They're in Birmingham, UK. Um, Bolu and Tenny, are you there? If yeah, they can yes. hear me. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. How are you doing, Bolu and Tenny? Hi. Hi. How about you? We're good. So we just wanted to check up on you. How is school? So what has been happening since the lockdown? How have you adjusted to the new online learning in school? So we've just had like Google and we've had to do everything on so the teachers giving us like our coursework or like everything to like the end of the year and like 
online lessons and things like that. I continued my assignment that they gave me when I was in school and they've been like continuing to give me more of like maths and science and English. Wow, that's okay. nice. So is it easier for you now um, schooling from home or is it was easier when you were in school? It's way easier to do it um, at school because at home it's like comfort, like you're in your bed, like you're more comfortable. At home is like more of like a space like relax and then at school you're you know you're there to study you're there to, you're there to focus but at home it's like a different environment so I don't like mixing the two personally. For me it's um it's easier at home to do it because it's kind of like it's on your own time but then it's also easier at school because if you don't understand it or if something's not working you can just ask your teacher mm. but also at home it can also be kind of distracting because you have many things around you that's distracting you from what you're supposed to be doing okay so like, what about so your friends do you miss seeing your friends and all that How yeah that been? yeah we still miss off i miss my friends but i still speak to them like every day and like facetime and things like that so that kind of helps but at the same time yeah it's better to see them in person every day it's like a huge jump from not see from seeing them every day to like not seeing them at all and, um, i okay i also I also miss my friends as well, but like her, I keep contact with them over like different places on my phone and just try our best to speak every day. So how well do you want to see, how fast do you want to see this come to an end, the pandemic? As, as, like, as soon as possible, like I say, I want to go back to school around like June, July. Some people are saying September, some people are saying January, so... I hope that it ends really soon because it's not only about like seeing your friends, it's also people who can't go to work so they're, they're struggling a lot and it's always a risk if you have someone in your family going going out that it's also a risk of them bringing it to you or a risk of them getting it. And also, yeah, so people can stop dying and life can return back to normal. Wow. So final question. If the lockdown and this, um, stops today and they say, okay, we are clean from COVID-19, what would be the first thing you would do? <laughs> See my friends. Yeah. There's something else I'd really want to do. Uh, Go outside because right. it's... It, it, Go to the it cinema. Is really <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bolu and Tenny, yeah. for joining us this evening. So enjoy your... And make sure you keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Guru Dev Suri Suri Ravi Shankar joins us right after the break. Please stay with us, we'll be right back.